because it's not worth it, number one. A real nigga ain't gonna force you to have sex. If he's gonna force you or try to pressure you to have sex, then he's not your nigga and you should walk away, go run as fast as you can. Just tell him, like I said, let him know how you feel. And if he can't accept it, then what by he's not the only person that you're gonna come across in your life, trust me, okay? All right, so let's go on to the next question. Um, okay, hello. She gave me her name, I'm not gonna say her name. Um, I came across your channel on YouTube by accident, actually. LOL, I love you, I love you too, girl. I feel like I relate to your story so much and you're so funny. I am writing I am writing you for advice because something's been on my mind lately and I really, uh, and I don't really have anyone to share with. I'm 19, have this boyfriend, he's 21, and I think he's so sweet. We've been together for about a year now and he treats me well, but there are some things that I just, no, I'm sorry, and there are some things I'm just not feeling. We don't talk as much as we used to and he has been very distant, but I think that's due to both of us working all the damn time. But I don't think that it's, it's no, I can't talk. But I don't think that. But I don't think that's an excuse to not see or spend time with me for a few weeks. Well, I got this new job at Walgreens, and there's a boy who caught my eye. Handsome, mixed Hispanic and black boy with pretty teeth. Ooh, girl. Okay. Yes, girl. He's fine. LOL. <laughs> He's 22 and doesn't know I have a boyfriend. Anyways, I've been talking to him a lot lately, and we got very close. But he has a girlfriend. Ooh, bitch. Okay. Um, and they live together. Oh, bitch. Oh, look. Even though I got a man here that still hurt me. Um, I mean, he told me that they are kind of rocking right now, so I can't. So I continue to talk to him. I know that's some whole ass shit, but I feel like if he don't respect her enough, I shouldn't care. Well, I see this boy five times a week, and it's only me and him that work together in the store, including a manager. One night, I was waiting Oh girl, this is a long ass email. <laughs> One night I was waiting on my ride. He waited with me. We got a little touchy and I felt <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry, this is not funny, but it's just how she said it. Like how she spelled it, like it's so funny. Where was that? Okay. We got a little touchy feeling and I felt his dick. I mean he touching him made me curious as I was riding home. I texted him and told him that I won. He said that he is down. Next day at work, when we are cleaning up for us to go home, we went in like, wait. Next day at work, when we were cleaning up for us to go home, we went in like the room where they keep sodas and I gave him hit. Wait, oh jeez. If you under 50, I mean under 50, if you under 18, please close your eyes or skip the next 30 seconds of this video. She said, oh jeez, okay, it's getting hot. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not used to this. Like, it's my first time doing these type of uh, segments, and oh my god, y'all, juicy. Okay, juicy. Um, where she was? Oh, okay. She said we went in the room, like where they keep the sodas, and I gave him head. They gave him head. They gave him head. I know I know nastiest shit going on in Walgreens. <laughs> we never had. We never got to have intercourse because we never had a place because he lives with his girlfriend plus a roommate. And I live at my own place, but I have a two-year-old son, and I don't want just anyone in my house. I recently just got a brand new car, and I think he's going to tell him, wait, I recently just got a brand new car, and I think I'm going to tell him that it's time. But I'm scared because, first off, I don't want to, I don't want him to fuck my seats up, and I don't want, <laughs> and I don't want to do anything to hurt my boyfriend, even though he's not really acting the way he should, but I feel like I should just act to what makes Wait, but I feel like I should just act to what makes me happy. I'm young and I'm pretty. I just want to live my life. Please help me to justify my whole ways. LOL. Thank you in advance. Girl. Uh, okay, girl. First off, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the way you worded things. Y'all, if y'all saw this email, y'all would be laughing too. <laughs> y'all. What did I get myself into? Okay, first of all, I want to say, girl, thank you so much for being real because most bitches... They're not real about their whole ways or they thought ways or whatever. They want to act like they never did nothing hoish or thoughtish in their life. But I just want to congratulate you and thank you for being honest and real because that's what bitches are supposed to be like. You know, but just be honest, be real. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> um, so, your question was, please help me just find my whole ways. Okay, first of all, you got a boyfriend. He got a girl. 
he lived with his girl, you don't live with your man. Um, but still in all, you got a man. Um, you say your man not acting the way he's supposed to be acting. So, what that means is if he can't get his shit together, then you need to just leave him alone. If you feel like you can't control yourself around this dude that you work with, then you need to drop him and you know start doing your own thing or whatever be single because you are doing things that single people would do like you know he's in a relationship that's what single bitches do so basically what i feel like you should do is give your nigga your current nigga give him a chance to get his shit together okay give him a chance if he acting right while you're giving him that chance don't be messing with this other nigga don't be talking to him don't be doing nothing that you know gonna lead to what y'all did with sodas and snacks and shit at walgreens okay so um do that if you come to the conclusion that he's just not gonna change or whatever then just fuck him like stop not fuck him but like say fuck him and leave him alone are you trying to have something serious with this new dude because if you are then you probably shouldn't because he's cheating on his whole bitch like he's cheating on the whole bitch that he's living with so just imagine what he'll do to you if y'all do end up doing something serious like is he gonna kick her out to be with you what if you move in or not move in but what if y'all start and what, what if y'all get in a relationship and he do the same shit basically so you gotta always remember that you know the saying how you get them is how you gonna lose them so you might not want to he he might just need to stay a side piece or whatever you want to do i don't know what you, you got planning in your mind to do but he might just need to stay in that zone i wouldn't take him serious because this nigga cheating on his his bitch so he ain't gonna treat you no better i promise so yeah girl just kind of like i said kind of see if he gonna act right if not leave his ass alone and don't take the cute mixed hispanic nigga serious and i don't want you to get your heart broke over a side nigga like he's a side nigga so try to stay faithful to your real nigga and if you can't then just break it up it's not worth cheating on your nigga in walgreens with the sodas like walgreens with the sodas here i can't next email was my this next and the last email uh she didn't really she wasn't really detailed basically all she said was Okay, so I watch your YouTube channel and I actually need some advice. I don't know if the nigga I lost my virginity, uh, I don't know if the nigga I lost my validity to actually has feelings for me or not. That's all she said. Um, I responded and I asked her like to give me a little bit more detail, but she didn't respond back. So um, let's say. So let's see. If you don't know if he got feelings for you or not, let me tell you how you can know whether or not he got feelings. Number one, is he talking to you afterwards like is he still communicating with you the exact same way that he was communicating with you before y'all did what y'all did um if he's not then that's a sign is he like acting weird is he like basically if he's acting different from what he was acting before then he might not be feeling he probably just wanted the booty got the booty and ran off like he bye he don't want you know that's probably what it is if he's acting like that now if he's not if he's acting the exact same way then it's a possibility that he still actually is somewhat interested in you but don't get your hopes up because a nigga could fuck you twice or maybe three or four times and then decides to run off and not all the time he gonna move on or not want you after the first time like it depends they probably want it again a couple more times and whenever they get bored or whatever then they gonna go bye bye so um yeah just see how it is that's all i just had three questions uh but definitely after you see this video you got some juicy stuff going on that you want to tell me or you want to you know seek my advice for definitely email me at talks at gmail.com it will be in it will be right here and also in the description box below um yeah so more of this video y'all know i gotta give y'all more moral of it is so moral of the first email was don't talk to a nigga who don't pressure you to have sex the second email moral is don't be fucking niggas and walgreens with the sodas and shit if you got a nigga and even if you do got a nigga like girl y'all need to find somewhere else because what if y'all get caught and y'all both gonna be without a job like y'all both can't be without a job because like if i use basically you lost a job because you wanted to fuck with the sodas and shit like 
Come on now, don't do it no more. Um, and more of the third email is give me more information. Observe how Anika is after you have sex with him. Whether you lost your virginity to him or not, just kind of keep the scene and see how he had afterwards. And you could probably tell more than likely. If you're smart enough, you'll be able to tell if then go on to or if he just wanted was the end between your leg, okay? So that's all for the segment and hopefully y'all enjoyed it. It was funny. Like y'all are so funny. Y'all be having some weird ass, funny ass situations, but I like it. Hopefully I helped you guys and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Okay? Bye. Working, 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 ain't ya? You don't have no time to lay up. You just trying to be somebody. For you say you need somebody. Get all your affairs in order. I won't have affairs, I'm yours, girl. Faithful, 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 faithful. You hit me like I know you there was.